Welcome! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to connect to your MySQL database so that you can immediately start slicing and dicing your data and visualize it using Explore Analytics. Explore Analytics provides three methods for connecting to a MySQL database. Let's review these methods and see how to use them. The first method of connecting to MySQL is using the Explore Analytics agent. This is the recommended method as it provides the best performance and security. The Explore Analytics agent is an optional piece of software that you can install on a Windows or Linux computer with connectivity to your database. Use the agent to access a MySQL database that resides in your organization's private network. The agent connects to the Explore Analytics server over a secure web connection and waits for a request for data. When a request is made, it springs into action. It queries MySQL and sends the results to the Explore Analytics server for immediate display in the user's browser. For the purpose of this tutorial, the agent is already installed and running. Let's create a new data source using the agent. We'll give the data source a name and description. In our example, there is only one agent and it's already selected. Our agent is installed on the MySQL database server, therefore the host name is simply localhost. We'll enter the MySQL username and password. No special privileges are required and you can use a MySQL account with read-only access to the tables that we want to analyze. Lastly, we'll enter the MySQL database name. Explore Analytics connects to the data source and discovers all the tables and their fields. It will also discover references between tables if your database has those defined. Otherwise, we can define those references later. We're now ready to explore. Here are all the tables. For example, here are the fields of the patient table. Notice that some fields reference other tables. As we'll see momentarily, this allows us to seamlessly query across multiple tables. Let's look at the patient table and create a simple chart with the number of patients by tribe. Now that we've seen how to connect using the Explore Analytics agent, let's see how to connect using a PHP script. This method is handy when you're using a web hosting account with PHP and MySQL, but cannot install software on the web server. The PHP script allows Explore Analytics to perform read-only queries against MySQL and send back the results. Let's set up a PHP script data source. You can download the script from Explore Analytics. You'll need to put some configuration information in the script so it knows to connect to MySQL. You should modify the script to implement your own authentication, or at the very least, put a new username and password here. Now let's define a PHP data source. As before, we'll give it a name and a description. The URL is simply the URL of the PHP script on your website. If your web server supports SSL, then you should certainly use it by specifying HTTPS. Otherwise, use HTTP. Finally, the username and password here are not the ones for MySQL. Remember, we filled those at the top of the script. The username and password here are to log on to the script itself using whatever authentication method you chose to implement. In our case, we simply hard-coded username and password in the script. Let's enter those here. Our data source is a WordPress blog database. Finally, our last option is to connect to a MySQL database directly. Although this is the simplest method, it is unlikely that your database allows a connection from the public internet. That's it for this tutorial. To learn more about how to turn data into intelligence using Explore Analytics, we invite you to watch the other video tutorials and to visit our website at exploreanalytics.com. Thank you.